Hey, what's up everyone? Carl Wolf here, and today I'm playing Mudlarks by uh, Cloak and Dagger Games. The same people who also made a date in the park. In fact, there was a reference in that game about Mudlarks, which is this. New game. A person who scavenge scavenges in river mud for objects of value. Okay. And that's why it was... And that's what that reference was when I tried to dig up the statue head in the other game. Uh, London, UK. Yeah, what are you doing? This looks weird. <clears throat> do I click anything or do I just let them keep... Oh, found anything decent, Vincent? Uh, not really. A lot of stems, but nothing patterned. I found a reasonable clay pi pipe bowl. Cool, man. This weather's getting atrocious, though. Yeah, I think we should head to the pub soon. My hands are freezing. Alright. So, I'm this one? For centuries, people have been coming here to the banks of the River Thames to try their luck at uncovering treasures from the mud and filth. These people like us, mudlarkers, as we are known, have found all sorts of things down here. From valuable jewels to suits of armor, statues of Roman deities, and other such wonders. But these days, pickings are few and far between. I'm more likely to prick my finger on a hypodermic needle than uncover a musket. Sounds dangerous. It has been another fun day of mudlarking, but we've only got a few broken clay pipes to show for it. The wind is really starting to pick up. We should probably think of heading off now. There's a cold bite to the air, and the tide will be rising soon. Um... I would think it's pretty straightforward, but sure. You use your mouse cursor, of course, right-clicking. Okay. The walk, look, interact, okay. Right, right. This is, like, absent. Okay. Your inventory's on the left, settings on the right. So we can walk, we can look, there's nothing to look at. Okay. Oh. Here's my inventory. Clay pipe. Broken clay pipe stems. So I just examine. Ow. The fruits of mudlarking and an old clay pipe. Stems are broken off, but in pretty good shape for something that is about 400 years old. Alright. And then this is to save. So can I just click anything, or does it... Hmm, put a few, put on a few pounds lately. The f the Thames. The mighty river Thames, the heart of London for centuries. Who knows what secrets are contained in its furthers, furthest depths. The, there's a large yellow buoy, buoy nestled into the forest sh shore. Oh my god, I can't talk right now. Uh, what's this? Exit. The only way off off the beach. Further down the shore. Okay, yeah. What is this? Oh, for talking, right. We, re we really should be heading back now. It's not safe to mudlark when the tide is coming in, so I should go. Oh. It's just over here. It's Vincent, my friend and fellow mudlarker. What? No. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. getting pretty cold out here. Yeah, I think we should head back now. Whoa, behind you! Did, did you see that shooting star? Really? Damn, missed it. It was pretty quick. Anyway, it's a shame we didn't find anything monumental today. One day, Winnie. One day, we'll find something big. I know it. Fingers crossed. A nice Roman jug, perhaps. Wouldn't that be grand? Maybe even worth a few grand. Alright, let's go to the pub. Just a tick, taking it all in. <laughs> this is funny. Come on, Slowpoke. Meet you at the pub. Ooh. 
I saw that. No? Can't do anything? I saw something shining. What have you... What? Oh, okay. Yeah! I saw that. Hmm? What is that? Ooh. Some ladies. Wait for me! Mudlarks. Oh god. That was right in my ears. Ooh. Two days later. Well, my love, I better be going to work now, I suppose. What are you going to do today? I think I might call Vincent and ask if he wants to go mudlarking again. You only went a couple of days ago? I know, but he really found something last time. What did he find? All you guys seem to find are those shitty broken pipes. You mean historical, fascinating, incredible broken clay pipes. Of course. All I can say is, if Vincent had a girlfriend to give it to, she would be a happy lass. Why? It's a piece of jewelry, a locket. From what I briefly saw of it, it seems to be made of gold and looks very old. Why can't you ever find anything like that for me? A nice brooch or something. But look at all these beautiful clay pipes and ceramics I've, I've found for you. Yes, my love, they are great. But yes, so he found actual jewelry? That's incredible. It is amazing. Sorry, I really have to get going now. Jerry will be on my case if I'm late. Alright. I've left you a muffin on the table. Enjoy your leisurely day. Ooh, nice. Thanks. I wish I had a week off too, of work, too. See you tonight. Have a good day. You too. See you later. I might take this muffin before I forget. Alright, I got a muffin. Ooh, blueberry. Not my favorite, but I'll have it later. What I really want is a full English... What a... <laughs> full English what? Breakfast? What better way to start my holiday than a newspaper and a greasy fried breakfast? I'll give Vincent a call when I'm there. I wouldn't mind another mudlarking session today, and I need to hear more about this locket. I can't believe one of us actually found something that could be generally valuable down here, down there. Speak of the devil. It's Vincent calling. Alright, mate. Hey, man. Have you found out anything else about the locket? I've shown a couple of people, and they both think that it's made out of gold. Really? Really. The chain is missing. But I'll have this... I have this crazy feeling that if you search around where I found the locket, we might find it. That's a long shot. But worth a look. Definitely. What do you think about the photos inside? The photos look genuinely old. They definitely do. I wonder who, they're, who they are. Not a clue. All we have at the moment is that they're an older woman and a younger woman. It's fascinating, isn't it, to try and imagine who those people are. Ah, the joys of mudlarking, uncovering these stories. I really want to find out who they are, but I'll tell you about it more, more later. Whatever the story, we have found something that is actually valuable in monetary terms. Hell yeah! Alright. How old do you think the locket is? It's hard to say. There aren't any mark, mark makers marks on it or anything. Nothing at all? Nope. The only thing unusual about it is that there's a bit of groove on the back of it. Maybe we could take it to someone who might be able to tell us more about it. That's a great idea. I guess I'll just... What's up? <laughs> What's up? What are you doing right now? Not much. I was going to have some breakfast. Do you want to come mudlarking with me? I was actually going to ask you the same thing. This locket's incredible. We need to have another look down there. I'm going to lower the music for myself. That's better. Ask what to do next. So what shall we do? Meet me down at the river in an hour, at the entrance. We will take it from there. Shall I bring anything? Please bring your metal detector. We can search the area around where I found the locket and hopefully we can find the chain. Or more lockets. Indeed. Isn't it exciting? We have finally found something. It is so great. Even if we don't find anything else, we need to take this locket somewhere to be examined. Totally. 
I'm sure someone will help us find more information about it. And I shall hang up. Cool, man. See you in a bit. Please remember to bring the metal detector. No problem. I'll get it now. See you soon. Cheers. See ya. And a better, I had better find the metal detector. We had a robbery lately, and ever since then, Lori has gone mad with security, hiding things away. I have no idea where she has put it. Well, I did want to explore anyway. It's a book about goldfish care. Nippy was ill recently, and this book pointed me in the right direction for the medicine I needed. It's my dear fish, Nippy. I've had him for about ten years now. Wow. Do goldfish actually live that long? Nothing more soothing than sitting and watching this little chap swim around in his leafy surroundings. This face was given to Lori as a birthday present. Okay. Tea bags and milk. This is where I keep tea bags and long life milk packets. Saves time instead of going to the kitchen. Okay, smart. <laughs> K-pop poster. My girlfriend's not happy that this is on my wall, but old habits die hard. I could, I would sell one of my internal organs to see this man in concert. An old newspaper. <laughs> same, same. Handbag. Lori's always leaving her handbags everywhere. A girl can't have enough of them, apparently. Dirty sock. All right. Dirty sheets. I really, yeah, you. Yeah, I think you should do it today, but whatever. I haven't gotten many songs on, the, on this at the moment. Just a few tracks of into. Incidental music I've been working on for a friend's project. A collection of books and a few... Okay. Treasure box. Fossils and things found when mudlarking. Various odds and ends. Bills. Drawers locked. Since the... Yeah. Alright. So there are valuables in there. Good to know. Shh. Can I open the... What? No. How do I... <laughs> so I gotta do this? No? The drawer's locked. Where are the keys? Is it in the rubbish bin? No, I'm kidding. Banana... What? Banana peels and used tissues. Gross. That I generally forget to empty. Any key. Can I leave? I can't leave without that metal to. Where? Okay. Well, maybe I. Uh, I don't. No, I don't. I want you to under the bed. There's nothing under there. We need. We used to store some things there, but they all got moldy, so not anymore. Hmm. Be under the sheet? Hmm. No. No, don't. Let's have a closer look. There we go. Ooh. Interesting. 500 million years old. 19th century. Is there a key in here, though? Oh, yeah, there is. I see it, I see it, I see it. Bit rare. 500 years, okay. Nope. Oh, grab it. Here it is, the key for the drawer. Lori really outdoes herself with these security measures. Thank you. And now we open the drawer. Oh, of course. I'll take this. Select. No, what? How do I... The key for the drawer in my room? Yeah, but how do I... Do I just exit? Yeah, I just exit, of course. That did the trick, it's unlocked. Here it is, my metal detector. I'm not entirely sure why this was locked in the valuable drawer. It only cost 10 euros. Certainly is useful, though. Vincent and I have found a few old coins using this down in the Thames. And now we leave. We're on a subway. 
were on a, the train. After a surprisingly smooth t- tube journey, Pigeon. The pigeons are back. Pigeon? Oh, the pigeon that. Okay. The door's locked. I should leave that for a more private moment. Okay. Do I take the steps, I guess? I. Okay. Oh! Oh no! No no! I better not go down the. Is it going to talk about Embrace again? Yeah, okay, that's... <laughs> hey, man. Winnie! Good timing. I just got here. Yeah, I took the tube. No dramas on the Northern Line today. It makes a change. Are you okay? You look a little tired. I'm okay. Just didn't get much sleep last night. Vincent looks a bit weary and almost troubled. I'll ask him when, he, when we get to the shore. Did you bring along the metal detector? Sure did. Despite Lori locking it away, I managed to find it. <laughs> that girl... Let's put this baby to use, then. Let's see if we can uncover something else. This locket is the real deal. I really hope there's something else there. The chain, or even more lockets. Ooh, phone call. Shit, my phone is ringing. It's probably Lori. Just go ahead and I'll meet you down there. Okay, man. See you in a bit. Let's find some treasure, bitches. (laughs) Hello? Hey. Just giving you a quick call to say I'll be late home tonight. Drinks with the girls after work. Oh, no worries. I'll probably head out with Vince for a few beers after. We'll finish mudlarking anyway. Cool. Have a good... <laughs> not doing her voice that I was doing before, because it doesn't give her a different color this time. Thanks, you too. I hope you find some treasures. Me too. See you later. Bye-bye. I better catch up with Vincent. Is this a gate? It's a sign. Let me see the sign. Entrance to shore. What about over here? Alcove? There's a small and empty alcove here. Nothing of interest. A dead end. Are you sure? Okay, well, whatever. Well, here we are. Where has he got to, then? I'll call him on his mobile. Oh, no. It's gone straight through to voicemail. Perhaps he's out of battery or something. Oh, well, he must be around here somewhere. Oh boy. Actually, it probably wants me to go further down the shore. Yeah. I see nothing special about it. Let's see... Further down? The Thames. I guess I'll just go further down. Um, let me just move my seat. Okay. Oh boy. To short exit. Further down. Further down. Jeez. Is he? Vincent's not here either. This is weird. I saw him going through the entrance to the foreshore. There's no way he could we could have passed each other. The way in to the foreshore is also the only way out. I better try his number again. Voicemail again. Vincent! Vince! I really can't work out where he's gone. He seems to have completely disappeared. Perhaps there is a way off the beach that I don't know about. Uh. Good morning. Hi there. This man looks like a scientist. I wonder what he's doing here. I should ask him if he's seen Vincent. Excuse me, may I have a word? Sorry, but you shouldn't be. Di- you shouldn't be down here on the foreshore. Why not? Please leave now. It's not safe here. Then why are you here? I am simply having a quiet mo- moment away from my colleagues as I attempt to eat my breakfast. This is rather disappointing, Flapjack. Hmm, maybe I can get more out of him with a little food bribe. Do you want this muffin? Seriously? 
Blueberry. I love blueberry muffins. Are you sure you don't want it? Here, take it. I don't know. Why, thank you. What a kind man. For that, kind young man, for that I will give you a few minutes of my time, but you really must leave soon. Have you seen a man passing by here? My friend Vincent appears to have disappeared. He must have passed you on your way here. I'm afraid that I haven't seen anyone, young man. Are you sure? About six feet, brown hair, beard, thirty-ish? I certainly haven't seen him. He can't have just disappeared. I'm not very familiar with, your, with this stretch of Thames. Perhaps your friend has left the shore via another exit. There's only one exit, the way you must have come in. And then I'm afraid I really can't help you, my dear sir. No colleagues are fur My colleagues are further down shore. Perhaps you can ask them. But I can swear I haven't seen anything. I would not lie to a man who has so generously given me his blueberry muffin. Hmm. Why must I leave the shore? Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I come here every week and no one has ever told me to leave before. Let alone a man who appears to be some sort of scientist. Haven't you heard about the meteor shower? No. Unbelievable how the youth of today can be completely oblivious to major events going on around them. Huh? <sighs> I spent the last two days in a hungover stupor, glued to watching DVDs as I recovered from a big night out with Lori and our friends. Two days ago, around 6 p.m., a meteorite shower of a very clustered and confined nature landed about a hundred miles upstream in the River Thames. Come to think of it, I did see a shooting star around that time. Precisely. Why does a meteor landing in the Thames mean that I have to leave the shore? There was something strange about the meteor shower. Strange? I was not... It, it was not picked up on any satellite equipment or interstellar object trackers, and communication networks have been erratic ever since. This must be why I can't get through to him. Are meteors usually picked up by these object trackers and satellites? Certainly. But they are not the only strange thing about this shower. What else has happened? What on earth is going on? Since it landed, there have been reports the length and breadth of the Thames of, masses, of massive tidal fluctuations. Freak tides that have been sweeping people away in moments of sudden ferocity. Oh no! Has this happened to Vincent? We must get someone out here to search for him! I'm afraid that won't be possible. No direct contact is allowed with the water for fear of contamination. Contamination? But my friend could be in there somewhere, drowned! Our initial readings upon arriving here a few minutes ago seem to indicate that any tidal occurrences are unlikely to have happened here in the last couple of hours. So are you saying Vincent is safe? All I can say is I haven't seen your friend. I need a drink of water. I really hope this is all a major exaggeration. Surely I would have seen this tidal occurrence or heard Vincent struggling if this had it happened. He was only a minute ahead of me. But this is very strange. Very strange indeed. What is this contamination you speak of? The water has been acting very strangely since the impact. We need to conduct further tests before I can confirm the nature of the contamination. Is it serious? Initial tests and meteorites found have shown that they contain completely unknown elements not found anywhere on Earth. Whatever these ele elements are, we believe they are causing tides to suddenly have a violent mind of their own. Incredible. This is why you must leave, sir. For all we know, these meteorites may have released something fatal. Contamination in the water. Why hasn't the Thames been barriered off? Why was I allowed here if this has all been going on? Somebody removed the barrier this morning. It had disappeared completely when we arrived. Was it you? That would be a criminal offense, you know. No way. When Vincent and I arrived, we walked straight in. Uh, no. You walked straight in. We don't know what Vincent did. Well, I must ask you to leave for your own health. You may need to be tested by my colleagues on your way out for contamination. Tested? Of course. If you show signs of infections from the water, you will have to go into quarantine. Quarantine? In fact, that might be where your friend is now. Please go. My colleagues will talk to you more about it. I don't like the sound of this. First Vincent's missing, now I might be put in some sort of quarantine for a meteorite-related infection? What is going on? Who are you? My... Dunk. My name is Dunk. 
Headley Dunk. <laughs> okay. What are you doing here? I work for UKASA. Yukasa? And we are conducting tests around the recent meteor shower, as I have told you. It's really not safe for you to be here. How's it safe for you to be here, then? I'm a trained man. I know exactly what to do in the event of a tidal incident, and have the equipment to save my life. You, on the other hand, do not. What is UK... U Casa? The United Kingdom Aeronautics and Space Agency. Wow. Goodbye. Thank you for the muffin, but please, leave as quick as you can. Well, then enjoy the muffin. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> okay, fine. I tried. No, no! I had it. Let's go. I should have a look around. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, something. Yeah. Let's, let's get it. So he just appeared around here then. It's the locket that Vincent found. He really wouldn't be so careless to drop this. Something's up here. This could be very serious. What if he's been swept away in the Thames? I have to find him. Surely the scientists would have seen him go past. With all this meteor shower related tidal fluctuation and contamination going on. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I really have to find Vincent. If he's not on the shore, I have to get back onto the street and have a look. Maybe the pub we go to regularly is a good start. It's just around the corner. And now we go. His face. Oh, hello. Well, here they are. He appears to be busily writing down notes. Busily working away. Judging by the utensils and parent on the table, he seems to be testing the water for something. Is that? Gonna, is it going to say the uh... <laughs> physical violence is not going to get me anywhere? I better not touch any of this stuff. Who knows what I could catch? Anyway. Hello, uh, excuse me. I am not going to give everyone a voice. Yes? Have you seen my friend Vincent? Can't you see we are busy here? What are you doing on the shore anyway? I've been through this with your colleague. Have you seen a brown-haired man with a beard around 6 foot, 30-ish years old, pass this way in the last few minutes? Sir, we are UKASA officers here, conducting office official and con confidential business. Any man on this beach should have been tested and taken to quarantine. So you haven't seen him. Any man seen on this beach would have been tested and taken to quarantine. You are not answering the question. My friend is missing. Cut the crap. Sir, swearing at a Yukasa employee is a criminal offense. This is a prohibited area, and the fact that you are here is most alarming. You must submit yourself to us for a test. Can you tell me if he's gone to a quarantine area? That is classified information. Those in quarantine cannot be named. But my friend is missing. He entered the shore min minutes before me. And now he's gone, having Drake dropped this precious gold golden locket. I need another drink. Missing persons must be reported to the police. Now please submit yourself to us for a blood test to determine your level of contamination. I won't do it. I must find my friend. You will be blocked from leaving the beach until you have completed this test. A positive result will see you earmarked for quarantine. This man's impossible. I don't have time for this. Whilst Vis Vincent is missing, even drowning down steam so somewhere. What are you doing here? This is official official Yukasa business. All you need to know is a cluster of meteorites landed in the Thames two days ago. Please do not touch the water. If you see anything resembling a meteorite fragment, please report it immediately to the authorities. How do I know what a meteorite fragment looks like? Please, sir, we are very busy. I'm sure Dr. Dunk can answer any questions you may have. Now please submit yourself for your blood test. I refuse to waste time on some tests while Vincent is missing like this. Perhaps he's in quarantine. Goodbye. You will not be able to leave until the test has been completed and your quarantine status confirmed. Fine. Can I walk? No, I have to... Hello there. He is much too busy in his work to even notice me. Easy now.
Why? Pizza? Oh no. Oh no. I can't leave now. There are the policemen guarding the blocked exit. He's rather menacing, menacing looking, but hopefully he can help me find Vincent. Physical violence! Trying to touch this man could possibly result <laughs> in the end of my life. So no, I'm not doing that. Excuse me, officer. Hello, hello, hello! What do we have here, then? Report a missing person. Officer, I would like to report a missing person. A missing person, you say, Gubna? Who ain't a missing person these days? It's all, go it's all gone Pete Tongue since that bl blimin' shower. I, 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 I wish I could do an accent for him. Have you seen a brown-haired man with a beard, 30-ish years old, and around 6 feet tall around here in the last 30 minutes? Have I, heck? I've been putting up this bloody barrier around after some pillock pulled down the last one. Sir, my friend is missing. Please help. How long has your friend been missing, then? Well, about half an hour. Half, I, well, that sounds about right, I guess. You having a giraffe, mate? Pardon? Are you having a laugh, ain't ya? He's probably gone to the pub for a pig ears, mate. We got missing people all over Greater London. Thames is pulling them under left, right, and center. Little do- Yeah, little Doris is down to feed the ducks and BAM! She's under the water and brown bread for all we know. So you're saying we, you don't care that my friend has gone missing? Look, son, you come back to me when he's been gone for three days and then we can talk about it. Until then, we ain't got the resources. This is the first class lazy bastard we have right here. I need to get out of here so I can find Vincent. Perhaps he's right, though. What if I am panicking for nothing? If Vincent has left the Thames, the first place to look might be the pub. And then I can find the quarantine area and see if he's there. Why is the exit blocked? The exit is blocked, sir, because this is a prohibited area. You are breaking the law by being here. The barrier wasn't there when we arrived. Were you the slimy Frankie ha Howard who committed this l lemon line? Sir, stop, stop talking like this. And also, I just said it wasn't there when I was here. Why do people keep accusing me after I said it wasn't there? If by that you mean, did I move the barrier? No, I certainly did not. Anyway, you can't get through here until you have been tested for contamination. There are some men of science down there who you must talk to for this. But, no buts, governor. You're going to have to take the test. Ooh, he's taken. This is Norman to Dr. Reynolds. Do you come in? Over. I can't quite make out the crackled reply. I got one ear for testing. I'm gonna send him over. Over. A sharp crackle signals the response. Alright, mate. No option but to get that test done. How can I get out of here? The only way you are getting out is if you pass the test, me mucka. Me mucka. <laughs> if you fail, these, these those eggheads over there will take you to their quarantine tent up on the bank. I get the feeling you're not gonna help me until I find help me find my friend not going to let me pass and are going to force me to do the test. That would be a yes. A hell yes. Alright. I ain't no scientist, am I? It was a bunch of meteorites that crashed into our beloved Thames two nights ago. Since then, the water's been swelling up on down the river, dragging people under. Across the whole nation, the Thames is being blocked off until they work out what's going on. What have, you, what have they found so far? Well, all I know is that meteorites have been washing up and people have been crashing in on, cashing in on, big time. What do you mean, cashing in? My wife, Noreen, her cousin, Geoff, well, he found a bit yesterday while he was down by the river with his dog. Sold it today for, wait for it, wait for it, 60,000 pounds. Wow, who bought it? Black market trade, isn't it? This stuff's from outer space, for God's sake. Are you endorsing illegal sellings of prohibited and dangerous goods? Oi! Don't you dare say that to me, my, my friend. Isn't it dangerous to handle the fragments? Can't you get sick or contaminated? All I will say is, if a piece of that fell into my hand, I would be out of here like a shot to my nearest shifty Sid and on a first-class flight to ben Benny Dorm in a heartbeat, mate. I am butchering names, I'm sure. This man's clearly a corrupted piece of work. Perhaps I can work this in my favor. What do meter fragments look like? All I know is that they are black and shiny, mate, and worth a bloody fortune. So find something shiny and black. Ooh. It's a jammy geezer that makes a fortune out of bloody national crisis. Hmm. 
Goodbye. Take this form. You will need to... Dr. Reynolds, the chief, chief scientist down there, he can do your tests. Fill that in. If you're all clear, I'll let you pass. If you fail, you're going to quarantine. Thanks, I guess. Do I have anything black and shiny? No, I don't think that's going to work. Can I color this? Well, I got the form. Who's Dr. Reynolds? Was that you or is that, is that you? You. No, I'm being an idiot. Sorry. Okay, looks like my only option is to take your test. Here's the form you need to fill in. Excellent! Please roll up your sleeve so I can take a blood sample. Okay. This will only take a moment. You just you you'll just feel a little prick. Ouch! Guess it was more than a little. Now I simply shake your blood in this vial, and the color will determine your status. Oh dear, it has turned blue. I didn't even go in the water. What does that mean? You have been contaminated by the water. I didn't. I, I didn't even touch the water. We're still learning how this works. It seems the meteorites have traveled downstream and changed the chemical balance of the water. With the tide rising and falling so often, this whole area would have been exposed to the meteorite elements. So just walking around? Therefore, it is safe to say this whole area is probably contaminated, and I myself will be too. But these are the risks we take in the endless pursuit of good science, dear boy. But will what happen? If I'm, if I'm going to get sick, am I going to die? We aren't quite sure of the exact effects as yet. That is why you must go to quarantine. But my friend's gone missing. I'm afraid your friend will have to wait. We will be finished here in a couple of hours. Please wait around and we will escort you to the quarantine when we are finished. What? You just want me to get even more... <laughs> two hours? I don't have that amount of time. Even if I am affected with something, isn't two hours a fur... Yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. A further exposure going to make it even worse? Just do as I say. What was your name? Winston. Should have given him a fake name. Just do as I say, Winston. This will be over soon, and I will take you to the quarantine. Here's your form, and this is to confirm you cannot leave the shore without us being with you. This is incredibly frustrating. If only I'd brought some, uh, whitener, so I can white it out and then... <laughs> Looks like I'm well and truly stuck now. I need to find a way to get out of here. I need to check the pub in the quarantine area. If Vincent isn't there, I will have to try the police again. But how am I going to get out? I can't afford to wait and then be trapped in quarantine for God knows how long. Hmm. I didn't mean to. Thank you for completing the test. Please wait. Hmm. I'm thinking. Hello there. Still not going to talk to me. Can I grab things? Who knows what I could catch? I suppose. I can't grab this... whatever this is? No? Hmm. What to do? Can I go find the other guy? I'll go check out Dunk. Dr. Dunk. Old steps? Can I go anywhere else? No? These massive old steps lead nowhere. Whatever used to be there is not there anymore. What does it say? I don't want to touch the scientists. I've seen you have completed the test. Yes, I have to stay here for hours now. Is there no way you can help me escape? I'm afraid you are going to have to sit t hold tight. <clears throat> the best I can do is give you this info sheet. Gimme. Thanks, what is it? Just a bit of light reading to help you bind the time. It's a press release we have created to alert people of the dangers of the recent meteorite shower. Riveting, I'm sure. Let's have a look then. To read this on face value, it looks as if we are all going to die. 
Warning, do not pick up or touch anything resembling this rock. Hey! The black, shiny rock. Do not attempt to pick it up. Could be immediately fatal as this rock is unknown. Miss, oh, there's a picture of that from the shower. Surprisingly round and smooth, jet black in color with a strange shimmery silver dots. Picking out one of these could be immediately fatal. You're just reading. Okay, phone number of the authorities 555-9991. So much drama. Yes. So I guess the thing to do is find the rock. I don't think it's in this section, all right? A large chunk of coal is washed up on the shore. This might come in handy. Ooh! There we go. I'll break a chunk off. And now I've got something uh, jet black! Sweet! Oh, no, this way. Excuse me, nerds. <laughs> I'll take that. And I will give it to you. I gotta do something with it. What do you want me to do with it? Combine? Is that even a thing? Oh, I need the shiny... D the... Hmm... How do we get some shiny dots? I don't know, can I dunk it in the river? <laughs> dunk it? I need the silvery dots. Um... Funny idea. What do you want me to do with it? I see. Or no! Oh. My bad. A large, smooth, and strangely... Okay. Grab it. Looks so mo like the meteorite. It's the wrong color, but it's round and smooth. I'll take and see what I can do. And I take this. And... The coal's been obliterated. I'm left with some coal dust. This It stains the hands terribly. All right. So I got the coal dust. It stains my hands. And I got the large, so... I won't... I need something else. Oh, wait a minute. <coughs> Is there anything I can do with this? Oh! Hello! There's nothing you want to do? Is this all I can do? Okay. Ah, here we go. Finally. I've been left with a glossy, sticky, black tar-like paste. 
Sorry. I hope I know what I'm doing. I don't think this is quite ready yet. It needs something else added to the mush if it's going to pass as a meteorite. Like... Not a duck. I don't know. I'm against ducks. I hate them now. No more ducks. Or at least no more ducklings. No more. What's a shoe? An old shoe hangs from the chain. Probably got snagged there here in the t high tide. I don't want a dirty old shoe. Well, fine. Instant. Rock? It looks much too heavy to lift. That won't do anything. That won't do anything. What? Yeah, you said that. Is there something I'm missing? Wait, wait. I found it! Oh, I gotta pick it up. Fine. A vial. God knows how long this has been tossing about in the water, but it is the mudlocker's way to grasp these opportunities for free glitter. Lori might want it. No, not Lori. You want it, man. Looks good as new. That should do the trick. A gluey, glittery black mess. It is super sticky. Yes. Nope. Select. Fingers crossed this works. What I now have is a semi-convincing fake meteorite. This will hopefully be my ticket out of here. Yes. Alright, for real. See ya. I'm out. Why did you freeze midway? Oh. Here you go, Kappa. Excuse me, officer. Be patient, Gov. Just a couple more hours. Wait, look what I found on the shore. You're pulling my legs, son! You haven't gone and found a bloody meteorite? You... Jammy! Bastard! I know. Isn't it incredible? I just found it sitting on the ground over there. Looks like it just washed up. The policeman looks absolutely green with envy. He can barely contain his rage. It just ain't fair. 60,000 and you, you will get for that at least. You jammy git. The things I could do with that sort of bread and honey. Meh, why don't you take it? Don't you dare take the piss, mate. Have you gone Stark Raven Chicken Oriental, Gov? Really, take it. I don't need the money. Besides, holding this radioactive contaminated space rock any longer may just kill me. Well, Mimaka, I can't be having that. No, sir. I can't have another death on my hands. Another? Ahem. <clears throat> Never mind. Here you go. Bless you. I can't believe it. A tear appears a tear appears out of the corner of his eye from pure happiness. Oh, if he only knew. <laughs> I hope he doesn't click to the fact that this is a rock covered in coal and glitter. Off to Marabella, I am. Forget this policing nonsense. Ooh, you're gonna get fired. Well, probably for the best. Before I can say anything, he hands me his badge and takes off. I have a badge now. Can't believe that actually worked. I feel a bit sorry for tricking him like that, but there seems to be no other way. I have to find Vincent. I'll try the pub, I think. There's just one down the street. The quaintly titled Cock Inn. Inn. Okay. What a name. <laughs> That's where we always go for the triple. For tip triple. 
whatever. The chance is slim, but he might be there. I should check out the quarantine zone, too. Meanwhile, I hope I'm not dying of meteorite radiation poisoning or something. Yes, we can only hope. We can only hope. Electrical box. <laughs> yeah, true, true. So I shall go over here then. So we got home. Interesting. Background noise. We've got the entrance and we got the cock in. Ooh, pretty place. The Cock Inn. <laughs> this public house is where Vincent and I always go after our mudlarking sessions to talk about our finds and drink until we are silly. I will check to see if somehow Vincent has come here. It's a long shot, but better than nothing. Hopefully he's not the one that died that the, talk, that the cop was talking about. If he isn't here, our barmaid friend Nicola might have seen him. No, no, no. Just some info about the facilities here at the cock. Oh, I want to take it. What's this? Nothing. I think I will end it here, and we'll be back with the next one. This is Carol Wolf, signing off. Bye!